through the meaty part of that pallet, James. They don't yank that pallet out. That's a bad thing. Even if that pallet gets trashed, if we can just get it yeah. to here, we'll get Kenneth to pick it up from there. Yeah. Fucking shit. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Sorry about all the confusion. I was literally staring at a truck driver, talking on his phone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that, guy, that wasn't me. the guy that had the witness. Yeah. been driving? Oh. I was trying to take the grade. Wow, okay. How important, how important it is to save money in trucking? Well, you have to stand in, it's not truck. It's pretty important. Why? It saves money for, for everybody. Save money with them. I'm gonna carry food with them. With refrigerator, microwave, and uh, stuff like that. How important for new drivers to save money? Uh, really important. Why? Uh, you never know when emergency is going to come up. Well, try not to eat out. <laughs> A whole lot of truck stops are expensive. Uh, just pack a few meals for to snack around a little bit. Well, for stability for your family, okay. uh, to be able to provide for your family for retirement. All right. And, uh, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. What is the one thing you dislike about trucking today? Um, the regulation. Long hours. Probably, probably four wheels. <laughs> I miss my family. Okay. I'm in truck. What do you think about self-driving trucks? The way of the future or no? <laughs> Why? One is you're putting somebody out of work, and the reason this this whole thing is coming is so the carrier can make more money. Mm. But two, three, four trucks lined up right behind each other, automated, and you're not you you're only got one driver up front. Mm. You're putting people out of work. The carrier is the one that's pushing this. Uh, there may be a little bit more on the environmental, but it's mostly carrier. Why? You can't take the man out of it. All right. Can't take the man out of the out, out of the seat. That's what's up. Puts me out of business. 
<laughs> Why? Um, not just only because of uh, not because it's going to take jobs, but that is a big impact. Like taking jobs away from human beings mm -hmm. to be able to take care of their family, but also. I think it's unsafe. Why do you think trucking companies having a hard time finding drivers today? No wait. Honestly, I don't know because I know a lot of places hire. Well, mostly, I think most of them just are people just want to work. I mean, uh, and uh, you know, I know a lot of companies going with the automatics and everything. There's still a lot of companies got standards and these new schools and stuff are teaching them all in automatics. Because so. people don't want to work. That's a good answer. That's a great answer. That's good. Hormones. <laughs> Say that again. Hormones. Hormones? 25 year old man is going to want a girlfriend. He's not going to stay out there five, six weeks working 70 hours a week. From one to 10, rate your dispatcher. I got a good person here. Seven. Well, seven. I don't have one, but I used to have one, probably about an eight, about a 10. He has potential, but I, I, I rate him at eight. I'm the one that makes the decision. Oh, so you want honey. In my truck, and if I want the load, I'll, I'll take it. If I don't want the load, I don't have to take it. What have trucking done for you? Uh, well, I've raised three kids. It's provided me a way of life, a living for all my life. Let me see a lot of places. Trucking has provided me a pretty decent living. Uh, my name's Lockout Man, man. Check me out on YouTube. All right. I appreciate you. Stay safe. Oh!